हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल श्रेयास ई लर्निंग वी कैन फाइंड मल्टीप्लिकेटिव इनवर्स यूजिंग एक्सटेंडेड यूक्लिडियन एल्गोरिदम बट यू मस्ट रिमेंबर समथिंग सो ऑलवेज कीप इन माइंड दैट टेक आर वन इज इक्वल टू एन एंड आर टू इज इक्वल टू ए सो यू गेट इनवर्स इन कॉलम टी वन इफ यू इन्वर्ट दैट लाइक इफ यू टेक आर वन इज इक्वल टू ए एंड आर टू इज इक्वल टू एन सो यू विल गेट इनवर्स इन कॉलम एस वन दोज हु हैवेंट सीन द यूक्लीडियन एक्सटेंडेड यूक्लीडियन एल्गोरिदम प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो इन माई फर्स्ट वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन द एक्सटेंडेड यूक्लीडियन एल्गोरिदम so that it will help you better understand this so let's see some example i'll show the example while solving in both ways because some people make confusion here that they take uh, r1 is equal to n and r2 is equal to a and try to find inverse in the s column or uh, either ways they take it opposite so i'll show you in both the ways so let's see the sum so firstly while finding multiplicative inverse we always need to check rule 1 that is gcd of n comma a should be equal to 1 so first we will do this part so here r1 is 26 and r2 is 11 so we get the gcd as 1 this means that multiplicative inverse exists for 11 in z26 so now as you all know how to solve extended euclidean algorithm i will directly start if you haven't seen the video then go back and see the video so that you will better understand this now let's see so we calculated gcd and then how we used to do in extended euclidean algorithm we did the same way we just solved the t part we didn't solve the s part in this and in this side we solved the s part we didn't solve the t part so same way we proceed to end so here when we reach the last in t1 column we find the answer but we have to take the mod 26 because our n is 26 and then we will get multiplicative inverse so 7 minus 7 mod 26 is equal to 19 so we get multiplicative inverse here in this sum also at last when we find s we have to do the multiplicative inverse of this term answer is same but here we get answer in t1 and here we get answer in s1 for those who haven't seen my earlier video i'll just show a bit how to do extended euclidean algorithm just keep r1 here r2 here this is the quotient and this is remainder so we divide 26 by 11 26 divided by 11 so whatever we get to the left side of this is a question so we write 2 in a question and we subtract 2 from the answer in calculator whatever decimal number we get we multiply it with r2 that is this 11 so multiplied by 11 so we get the remainder then this term shifts here this term shifts here and similarly we calculate until gcd we get gcd now initially t1 is 0 and t2 is 1 similarly we keep initially s1 as 1 and s2 as 0 and we go on calculating so to calculate t so t is equal to t1 minus q into t2 and to calculate s s is equal to s1 minus q into s2 just follow the steps and do so here also this term shifts here this term shifts here just don't confuse to take what is r1 and r2 because if you confuse this you have to solve t1 
टी टू टी टेबल ऑल्सो एंड एस वन एस टू एंड एस टेबल ऑल्सो सो जस्ट कीप इन माइंड दीज टू थिंग्स सो यू विल बी प्रॉपरली एबल टू गेट द मल्टीप्लीकेटिव इनवर्स नाउ वी हैव टू चेक वॉट एवर मल्टीप्लीकेटिव इनवर्स वी हैव फाउंड इट इज करेक्ट और नॉट सो यू हैव टू डू इलेवन इंटू नाइनटीन मॉट ट्वेंटी सिक्स सो इलेवन इंटू नाइनटीन we get 209 209 more 26 so 209 divided by 26 we get 8 point something so we subtract from 8 whatever we get we multiply it with 26 so we get 1 so the condition is satisfied that a into b mod n is equal to 1 or either ways we can write as a into b congruent to 1 mod n thus we check that our inverse is very correct so different sets for addition and multiplication so sometimes in cryptography we need to use z and set when additive inverses are needed and we need to use z and star set when multiplicative inverses are needed so set z6 we'll see an example so z z6 consists of 0 to 5 all the numbers and set z6 star that consists only 1 and 5 so since we saw additive inverse in additive inverse we can find all the terms in the set and similarly in multiplicative inverse also we can find the terms all the terms within z6 so these are only two terms in set z6 which have multiplicative inverse now we will see two more sets so in cryptography oftenly we use two more sets that are zp and zp star so basically what is zp zp is similar to zn but only modulus that is n is a prime number so this set zp contains all the integers from 0 to p minus 1 and it has additive inverses and zp star that is same as zn star but n is prime number this set contains all the multiplicative inverses so the in the prime number set that is zp star set it consists of all the integers from 1 to p minus 1 because 0 does not have inverse in the set so 1 to p minus 1 so these two terms are very easy to keep in mind so while solving the problems we can use them so these are your try by yourself sums try solving by yourself and put the answers in comment section below hope you liked my video do like share and subscribe my video and click the bell icon for more updates and comment below your doubts and suggestions thank you